Hey everyone, in this video, I'm excited to share with you a very fast way in which we can create an endpoint that executes custom code logic. This is very useful if we're doing things like setting up a webhook for our service, or we want to execute custom code and be able to do it from anywhere by sending a request just to an endpoint. So let's take a look at how we can build this inside of Wastegroup. If you've never been to Wastegroup before, don't worry, we'll start from the very beginning and I'll go through all the steps that it takes. What I'm looking at here is I'm inside of a workspace. A workspace just houses something called layers. Layers house our code and holds our application that we're creating. In this example, we want to create a simple webhook. So within my workspace, I have an option to create a new layer at the top right. As you see here from our selection, there's a bunch of different examples that we can clone to our account. What we'll do here is scroll down a few and then we'll select Python HTTP. We'll talk through all the pieces of this template so you know exactly where to make the changes that you need for your own project. Beginning here, this is the overview page. After we click on create, this is what we're greeted with. As you see, we already have our dev and production endpoints. These are the endpoints that we can send a request to to execute the code in our application. So to view that code, what we'll do, we have two options. We can click this open develop view at the top, or we can select the icon on the left of develop, and that gives us our develop view of our layer. We have a terminal, just like on a local machine, you have a built-in terminal. Wayscript works as an environment, so any packages that you need, you'll have to install them, and you do that via the terminal. Our next window here is triggers, and this is what we're using to set up our HTTP endpoint. So how this is working is we get a endpoint, and when a user visits it, what we do is execute a command. In our case, we want to run a Python command. So we'll say Python and then the name of a Python script, which is response.py. For the specifics of our own project, we'll make our changes in this file of response.py. We get some code here. This will already be in our response.py because we cloned it from our templates. But if you're creating this on your own, feel free to copy this and use it in your Python file. An important note here is if you need multiple endpoints, what we can do is we can get out of this and there's a plus icon here. This is the trigger panel and you just click on the one that you want and we'll go into our Python file. So that is in our file directory here of response.py. An option here is we can minimize these windows so we can see our code better. You do that with this bottom icon. So we'll hide triggers. We will hide our logs and we will hide the terminal. Perfect. So to talk through what we're doing here in our code, we have a way script import that we're using. It is just a library that provides us some functionality that we can use within the product. In our case, we're using the functionality of being able to get information from our user whenever they access our endpoint. This is cool because our endpoint is password protected and we can see exactly who is accessing it programmatically in our code. So talking through our lines, we're getting our information from our request in this line here. We're getting it from a context variable using a method called get event. From there, there are subsections of data that we can pull out with these lines here. And finally, we're generating a response that we can send back to the user. You may have noticed earlier that there are two endpoints, a dev one and a prod one. So we can make our changes in this dev environment. And when we want to push them to a live state, what we can do is deploy them using this button on the left and click on deploy. What this does is pushes it to that production endpoint. And we have our dev one in the background that we can work on and make changes. It's as simple as that to build an endpoint that executes custom code for you. I want to show you one last note here. Endpoints in Wayscript are password protected. So that means members in your workspace can access them, but other people cannot. We can change this setting by going to our endpoints tab here and making them publicly accessible. Creating endpoints this quickly we think is pretty cool and hopefully you think so too. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please let us know and we'll be happy to help. Until next time.